Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Hi, we're back with another uh, reaction video, but this time we're reacting to Tari Yummy and Chris Derniolo. I know. If you haven't already seen my reaction to Tara Yummy and Nick Sterniolo, go ahead and check that one out. But uh, yeah, we're just going to jump right in. Um, I don't have any space camp today because I do have lipstick on. So we are just going to have our little swig. Chris, Chris, this is the Cherry Bomb with Pepsi. I think you would really like it. It's delicious. Okay. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm looking like the Barbie version of Tara Yummy today. And I love it. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Hey guys, it's me, Tara, and I'm here with... Chris. <laughs> I hate using my last name because I'm alone. The second you hear stirring alone, you expect more people. But there's not. Yeah, it's just Chris. Because I already did Nick. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing you. Whoa. <laughs> Honey, uh, are we doing people? Wow, crazy wording. Off I, the rip. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That's what she said. No, I, I like him. I don't think there's any recovering from that one. Welcome to my channel. Thank you. I'm, I'm very, very excited. To Me too. Very excited. Usually, when I do stuck in a car videos, I get like a drink that they like. With Nick, I did Red Bull. Mm. Cause he was like, just get me a Red Bull with you. Oh my God. I know you like, you know uh, so well. I know I asked. And, and, and in a can. <laughs> in a can. Well, you didn't even have to ask. You could have just Googled it and, or like And that's TikTok. what's scary. And I think about that all the time. It's like when you meet new people, all they do is Google you and you know. Every, I could find out everything, everything about you like you. and then just like, like master manipulate you into thinking that I'm just like really relatable to mm -hmm. you. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I could just start appearing with like all your favorite things and you have no idea, but I actually just searched it on the internet. What a crazy thing that could happen. It could. And I'm, mm -hmm. I fear for that every time I hang out with someone, especially a guy. What, that they're like Googling you? Oh, yeah. I'm like, because they'll always be like, oh, I've seen your clips or like, I've seen like videos of you. I'm like, you know exactly who I am and that's scary. Like, I want someone to get to know me. Yeah, that's why you have to keep some of your favorite things offline. Dude, too late. I've been online yeah. for five but no, years. Like, my favorite drink is, like, okay, everyone can know it. But me personally, like, there'd be some songs that I like that I'm like, I don't even want the internet to know that I enjoy this song. You just gatekeep it? I'm a big gatekeeper to, like, just for, like, my personal, like, benefit. Like, I'm like, I don't want to, like, put this on the internet and then see edits of myself to my favorite song and then it's going to ruin the song for me. So, I'd like, love to see edits of myself to my favorite song. Yeah, but then sometimes it ruins, like, the specialness of it. You know what I mean? No. I don't know. See, yeah, I guess. Maybe we're just different that I way. Guess so. I went to 7 Eleven just to get ice, and they charged me for ice, and that's what's, that's what's wrong with America. That's crazy. Maybe it was for the cup. That's more understandable, but yeah. I also got a can for myself. You're going to have it? I'll match you because you're on my channel and mm. you're the guest. Do uh, I like Pepsi? I don't mind it. You seem like a. Like a I'm a D. A I'm, a, Coke I'm a DC girl. kind of girl. I'm like, did you what's, what's DC? Diet Cup. Oh, I called it. <laughs> I, I Googled it. Did you I Google it? it? Ah! I was going to say, I was like, did you Google it? No, I didn't. I just guessed. You got that whole can in there? That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> that you was were really... way too proud of that one. Because it was really good. No, you know, it wasn't. You know what they call terrible. chodes like beer cans? No, I never heard of that. Really? It was on Orange is the New Black. That's a good thing. I've never heard of it. I guess. Hey. Just saying. Hey. That's crazy. Brian Gold is to beat Nick's video and views. You think you can? 100%. Why? People love Nick. He's funny. All that. Cool. Whatever. I think instantly, just because I'm the straight triplet, it's going to do better. The straight tri triplet? Uh, what are we insinuating here, Chris? You do have another brother. Are we forgetting about Matt? Uh-oh. I do think he's right, though. I honestly think this one is going to get more views just because of that. Because they watch, like... People watch Tara Yummies in a car with certain people because of the uh, dynamic. You know what I mean? So I, I I do agree with you. I think this one's going to do a little bit better because they want to see if you guys flirt with each other and then make edits of it. You're undermining that. No, 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 no. I'm saying the one that's going <laughs> to actually do videos and shit like this. Matt doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Matt's mysterious, Matt. 
Right. You got like he's got to keep up the image. Yeah. He, mm. didn't, he didn't go on Zach saying Matt just doesn't like you and shares with people. I thought you were gonna say Matt just doesn't like you. I'm like. Yeah, Understandable. He hates you too. Everyone yeah. thinks he hates me. <laughs> Matt just, everyone thinks Matt hates everybody. Why was it Matt at Tara Yummy party? party? That's like the question of 2024. This is like rare for me to do this with you. I know, I feel so special. Yeah, you should. I do. Because it's like, I don't like posting one on one with girls at all. And I try to, to eliminate that from my life in all aspects of social media. Like, I'm terrified, even with Nick and Matt. Oh no, I think my internet's being dumb. I'm sorry if it, if it just kaputted. Let's keep going. So, well, rare. if it makes you feel any better, I can breathe next to a man and get shipped with them. Mm -hmm. So, that's same how, here. That's what we're doing. I know, it's what we're doing. We're just gonna. We're, we're ready. It. It's like postal service, baby. No, it's like I'm scared. I'm about to get shipped. I'm like really nervous. <laughs> Oh, that was a good joke. Went over my head. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like, good. it's I, I reused it. <laughs> you stole it from somebody? No, I stole it from it? myself because when I was in the kitchen earlier, mm -hmm. I was talking to Carrington and I was like, about to get shipped like postal service. I was like, I'm going to say that later. Yeah. That and good. you know what? I could have just not admit to that right now. Definitely. And ma made myself just cut seem that cooler. second part out. Got it. The first joke. Got it. Yes. All right. I wrote some things down throughout the week that I wanted to bring up to you during this okay. video. One, I was watching one of your guys' videos and someone made you take your chewing gum out of your mouth. Okay. Maybe Matt, and then he spit it at him, and it was, and the internet uproared about Chris being tough. His his little his little his little uh, smile and shit. Yeah. It was an old video, and they were just like, "Chris, you always do this. Like, spit your gum out." Matt. Oh. Them, right? No. No, I know which one she's talking about now. So I was talking about the one where you spit it at Matt and it's a newer video. She's talking about the older video where you spit it at Nick in the back seat. She was asking a question. I don't know. I don't remember. But what I do remember is I wrote this. I said, every time I go on the podcast, Zach makes me spit my gum out. Okay. And then that made me realize watching the videos, I understand that me and Nick are really similar because we're really opinionated and like loud and like, sassy okay yeah but watching your guys's videos made me realize a lot of my opinions and a lot of like our actions you and i are more similar than me and nick i completely agree do you really yeah i was i was like watching and i was like nick's just louder than me and you're loud no no hate N no hate no you hate. know i wasn't gonna take that as a hateful thing but Until when you said, said no, no hate, hate and i was like hmm. it just seemed like a hateful thing you're no. loud i guess like calling someone loud is like kind of mean well you're loud Loud. That was gonna make my situation even worse. I was gonna say you're loud all the time. Nick's loud like some like with me and Matt. I that's worse. true. Yeah, I am loud all the time. I I and you know that's just who I am. I was trying. <laughs> what is happening? That's why I said in the in the last video with uh her and Nick, or I think I don't remember what video it was, but I did say it. I was like, I don't know why people think that they're this similar because they are very very different. The only reason that people think that they're similar is the way that Nick acts around his brothers. But Tara is like this at all times with every person in every video, in the podcast, everywhere. That's how Tara Yummy is. Nick is very reserved when it comes to like other things that he does. Like the video he did with you or Tara. I'm, I'm, I said you like I'm speaking to Tara right now. What the? Anyway. um. Brain fart. And then the the podcast he did with Zach saying, like, he's very reserved and very mellow and chill. So, yeah. And that's okay. Thank you. But anyways, some of our actions and, like, the things we do, and you're like, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Stuff like that. I realized me and you were a lot alike. It yeah. was I don't know. I forget everything all the time. I'm, oh, I don't forget things, but I feel like I, I think of a hundred things at once all the time. And I remember mm. you saying that and I'm like, my and mind is always racing. I, I always see the TikToks that me and you are chronic yappers. Dude, that me and you it's are just bad. We never shut the fuck up. Yeah. I think there'd be a lot of noise like forever if we were just together the whole time. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> You kind of walked into that one, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have done the same shit. 
You walked into that one. You definitely walked into that one. Oh my god. I didn't say a fucking word yeah, for once you in my looked. life. You went You saw you knew what was, you were doing. I didn't do anything. Okay. I sat there while you said something that was insane. I said if me and you were together all the time, it would always be loud and yappy. That's all You I didn't said. say yappy, you said it would always be loud. And that's implying things. No, it's not. It's implying things because you thought it implied things. Well, my mind's always in the gutter. Mine's not. And that's what same. My mind is always in the gutter. It's bad. It's actually it's actually bad. Like I'm not I'm not gonna say it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. Because in serious situations, I laugh when somebody says doo doo. Where we differ? Maybe we don't though. What do you mean? Because sometimes I do think like no, I was thinking the other day. It is kind of crazy how many like dirty-minded clips are out of me, Matt, and Nick. Like I'm. We're oh, talking, so many. Yeah, there's a lot. I love them. They're and so I see funny. them because it's it's the best humor. You know what I mean? It really is. I agree. I think it's the most like appalling and like the most like. Well, it's just the funniest, especially with your brothers, because it's like you mm. can really do anything, and it's hilarious. What is the craziest thing you've done when you have a crush on someone or when you like someone? Like, do you like post on your story chronically? Like, what do you? No, I won't chronically post on my story maybe i'll like post something to see if they like say something mm. you know what i mean sometimes but I that's not that. crazy but i also hate doing that because then I, the whole internet is seeing something that's why i have a close person. friend story i have a close friend story too i know i'm on it i've seen it really yeah i we I'm talked joking. about oh, okay I'm like, you slid up on it yesterday yeah that sounds bad but i'm gonna get you a free hoodie for my brand yeah see the craziest thing i did when i liked someone is got a matching tattoo see <laughs> Um, I would really appreciate if, uh, bigger creators see the little people. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I am, I am always repping your shit, okay? I am always repping your guys' shit. So, I don't know. Think of the little people, maybe. Just saying. Tattoo. That's insane. I'm fully aware. Yeah, that's our, crazy. It was our third date. Wow. How do you think that went? Th not too good. South. Yeah. South. I don't even have any tattoos, so think of getting one to devote have, my love for somebody. I don't. Love lot. is crazy. Likes the guy. Tattoos permanent. So that's crazy. Right. I wouldn't. I, if I, also, I didn't love somebody, I'm not tattooing anything remotely close to that person on my body. It wasn't close to them. It was just a matching tattoo. Okay. So when you ever see an opinion online about yourself, do you ever see it and you're like, wait, am I like that? Because like, no, I see things. No. Dude, they're no. trying to convince me. I see things. That's in, crazy. I see things and it's like, oh, Tara likes this person. I'm like, do I? Like, oh my <laughs> God. That's insane. That's insane. So you get persuaded into like tricking your mind into thinking something else. When the whole internet is like, I'm convinced. I'm like, am I convinced? No, I've never done that in my life. Your jacket is really bringing out your bright blue eyes. Is that a cum stain? What is this? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Probably not. It looks like toaster strudel. What is that? No, <laughs> think about it. I don't know. <laughs> it's like... looks like... It's nothing. Stop being weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Stop being weird. <laughs> okay, then people are going to be like, Tara was weird to... Chris. This also isn't a jacket, it's a hoodie. Excuse me. Yeah. My bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have um, blue eyes. Yeah, I and I didn't notice that until recently. They scare me. I hate having blue eyes. Why? Like, no matter how open my eyes are, they feel fully open all the time. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I've seen, like, like comments if I'm, like, where it's Even like... if I'm squinting with blue eyes, I feel like people see me like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's how I just feel like my eyes no, are No, no, no. I've seen comments on, like, people with blue eyes, and you're like, God, please buy yeah, them like, some hey, brown contacts. Up, literally. Yeah. They're like, like uh, people when they have blue eyes at the sun. I'll open my phone in like selfie cam sometimes when the sun's on me and it's just all white and blue and I'm like, oh my god, I, I literally get scared. Oh, oh. You okay? Because oh, wow. that was really fun. That's what she said. Uh, I, I have green eyes. Um, I just, I just remember the fan fiction of like the, the green eyed one. Uh, anyway, anyway. I don't have the same, like, problem as people with blue eyes. Well, I used to have blue eyes when I was younger. They changed to green when I 
got older. Um, and sometimes they still do kind of look a little bit of blue depending on what I'm wearing um, and how like the sun is hitting my eyes. But I've never had that problem in like the sun. It, my eyes are not very sensitive to the sun. Funny because I can imagine just like like you know, like okay, laser vision like yes, just two blue eyes and that's it. That's and then frightening. My hair and then nothing. White. Else. Yeah. That's white. frightening. Yeah. And the other day I was walking and this is something that drives me insane. I hate to be that person to do things I hate again, but okay. oh my god, when people drag their feet on the floor. Oh my god. Dragging someone dragging their feet, I'll think about it all day. It's it's just pick up your feet. Well, it's just like when you pick them up. Pick them up because you know it's <laughs> altering the way you're walking. You know what I mean? Like if someone's oh walking slower and they're just not picking up their feet, it's like, dude, get like move. And then I hear it, and I'm like, yeah. are your and shoes big for you? Yeah. Then their pants are dirty. People need to like chronically just move swifter, pick up your feet, stop yeah. walking so slow, get out of the way. I hate when someone's in the way. That's probably my least favorite thing. I'm so socially aware when I'm in someone's way, or like if I see someone in someone's way, I'm like, move. Dude, I, feel, I hate when I'm like with a, I hate when I'm like with a new friend that I kind of know but like kind of don't. And you can't you know be I mean? like move. And they're like in the way of like someone else, like a stranger, because then you have to be like, oh, like. Oh, can you come here? Yeah, yeah like, you can do it nicely. Way. And then it's like awkward because then they're just like. Well, I can promise you, you can always oh, tell no, me because yeah, sure. I will never I mean, take Tara, offense. Yo, yo, yo move. <laughs> Tara, yo, get the out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really loud laugh. That was kind of manly. Sorry. I was going to say something and now I forgot. Dang it. Hmm. Oh, my uh, my partner, he will – he's one of those guys that, like, physically moves me to, like, the other side of the street so that I'm not, like, in the way of traffic because he, like, loves me. <laughs> um. So – but he will sometimes make, like, the joke to, like – he'll, like – jokingly calm down um like push me <laughs> into the traffic <laughs> it's just funny i all right continue all right you're in this no. i go with nick and matt all the time nick is chronically like he's one to complain about it but he's always in my fucking way i tend to complain about things i do well nick's also like super clumsy and shit so he'll like so. he'll like fall into me and shit and like just mm. he'll manage to like bump into me when there's like a full empty room it did it again calm down guys hold on hold on sorry guys my light gets overheated i like, need how are we in i need to find a, a new setup but i will find a new setup when i move so yeah okay uh like warehouse essentially and you're still <laughs> he's just like maybe just like walking close to you i kind of get mm -hmm. that i like like being close to people yeah i don't i don't like hugs i love hugs i realize that i don't we like just hugs. both contradicted our our own self i think <gasps> you're right i'm like i like being close to people and then you said you don't but you like hugs and i don't i think yeah. i don't like hugs because i go straight into their chest yeah because unless they like yeah and i have down. to like it's, it's weird yeah and i don't want to be like romantic hugging well, yeah i hate hugging a girl that's like taller than me like significantly taller than me you're tall though no i'm tall yeah but if a girl's like like mm, six two or six just go feet, for the side yeah side hug side i love hug. i love, I love a side hug, hug for sure i'm a big side hugger it does the trick and it's not like super awkward but you don't have to like be see it's like i feel like hugging is just so like you're snuggled up into someone yeah i don't mind hugs but they're i love hugs like with anybody i love Hugs. Hugs are amazing. I love to be snuggled with people. Is that weird? They're so intimate. They really are. I think hugs are more intimate than like... I love when you meet someone... And Eight hugs a day keeps your baseline happiness. If you do more than eight hugs a day, then the oxytocin and the serotonin and all of the yummy happy hormones in your noggin love you i don't know if that made sense wow krista and they're a hugger though that's good really yeah well i hate meeting someone and then like not giving them the hug really yeah like well not like like i'm talking meet like you're going to hang out with like people you know what i mean i'm not talking really? meet like at like i'm a trying to think of party. what we met yeah we met at your party no we didn't we wrong met, okay yes wrong but we, we met, met at a, at a party, party. When, we, when you meet at a party setting then it's um i don't think you hugged me 
Yeah, because we were. I think I stuck my hand out. Yeah, but we were just getting introduced to one another. I think. By someone. I'm talking like, say me and you were like hanging oh, out and I making got it. plans, got and like it. you were coming to my house, or I was going to yours, then I'd like greet you with a hug. You know what really? I mean? Really? You sure. didn't hug me earlier. Oh. Mm-hmm. You hugged everyone else. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Well, that's because I just met Carrington, and then I saw Jake. But like, when where we... my hug at? <laughs> where, where my hug at? Where my hug, where hug, my hug at? at? Shit, my dude, fault, bro. Dude. Dude, where my those hat? people. That was a good. That was a good joke. Thank you. That was probably my favorite joke you'll make today. No, don't say that. Don't okay. don't set me up like that. That's my favorite my, one so far. So far is better. Yeah. Yeah. Wear my hug at favorite thing ever. Wow. Favorite that's a, thing. That's a crazy favorite. Favorite thing because it's just so funny. It's like you're you're not serious. Do you are often you? use it? No. Okay. No, I just thought that was funny because we were talking. I'm about... gonna do that next time. If I walk in and you don't give me a hug, I'm like yo, where, where my, my hug, hug at? at? <laughs> Bro, super if someone actually said that to me, I don't think I've heard that since middle school. I don't think I've ever heard you're lying. seriously use You're word. lying. Serious same. Same. I've never heard somebody seriously say that. It's always been somebody making fun of somebody saying that or like just making the joke itself. Maybe I did. maybe like I was- a couple times in high school, but like that's about it. But I could I feel like where my hug at is more of like a person than like a saint. Mm. Like I, I know someone that's like a chronic where my, where where my, my hug, hug at, at kind of guy. Yeah. Here's the thing is when people said where my hug at, like when people say that, it's always the kind of people or the kind of guys that will be like, you think I'm ugly, don't you? Yeah. The, the like, they're like, they're like, nah, uh, I'm just so dumb and stupid. Like, oh man, like, I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Always those people. Yeah. They're just upset. They need some, they, they need, need some a hug. Hugs. They need some hugs. <laughs> they need a hug. Do you ever feel like, like you're just like such a, threat of like death in a car accident i never thought that until recently one of someone i know was just like i'm scared to drive with you well, i'm like, a really also, good driver like, if you're but... driving in this and then you like get in a different car like if you're like in like a crazy truck or something then you realize like wow i'm actually really in danger in this no because i'm actually like a really good driver surprisingly for a woman right no um i have a lot of people that tell me that they they want me to drive like for work sometimes we have to drive a lot and so if i'm with another coworker, they'll be like no you drive because i'm a really good driver i i'm very safe small car for sure um my dad just got a cyber truck oh yeah i feel like i'm drowning in it yeah if you got hit in a in this by a cyber truck someone knock on some wood for the love of god like that's not wood ow holy shit how'd that hurt look I have, like, busted up knuckles right now. What'd you do? How did I feel like a white boy that's mad did at the mom? you beat someone up? No, you know when they punch a wall? Oh, I know. Yeah. I've never... Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah. No way. Not, like, yelling at my mom. Like, but you know I what like... I mean? They're like, fuck, I hate my mom. I punched a wall for sure. You know what I do when I'm angry? I grab my pillow and I scream in it as loud as I can. Oh, I don't do that. That's crazy. That's, like, some... That's, car... that's crazy? Like a... That's, like, a Disney movie, like, fuck. <laughs> 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 Like, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, but it's so much safer than punching a wall. Yeah, but then you just seem crazy. You know I was born on the East Coast? Yes. You told me that. Where were you born? Maryland. Yeah. I think East Coast people are significantly cooler than West Coast people. Okay. No hate. You were born on the East Coast, so you kind of, like... I go there a lot. Yeah. I just think that, like, if someone was born and raised and they experienced, like, their childhood in the East Coast, I feel like they're more, like... My childhood was in the East Coast. Damn. I moved here when I was, like, four. Oh, damn. Yeah. But I went there enough to, I feel like I got to, like... It just is such a different world. I think you're talking about Los Angeles versus... I agree. That's what I do a lot. Yeah. Not West Coast. Because, like, Utah's West Coast now. True. When I'm in, like, Los Angeles, like, I'm, like... I, I go to the airport or like go to like a restaurant or something and everyone is so to themselves you know what i mean mm-hmm. like and then the second you go to east coast like we land in boston the other day and the other some guy starts talking to us like random like people just act like they've known, they've you known for you. years yeah and I it's so like funny. that i kind of yeah. but i feel like i'm like that i just talk to random people all the time mm-hmm. and i think maybe that's why people don't think i'm from la yeah but i'm so like i'm i give so much la especially my voice yeah i like talking to strangers a lot actually okay you should work on that you're not supposed to talk to strangers Oh, one stranger role. danger. Yeah, I think I can hold my own. Yeah, I think when people try, like, if like a Tara, aren't you like this big? 
I love you. I love you. No hate. But aren't you like this big? <laughs> like if like a this has happened and it's so sad because like women just get like this not to get deep, but women just yeah, get like head. like whistled at and stuff like that. I think I hold my own pretty well. Yeah. For my size and stature. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? Yeah. Like I will be crazy on them. Cause then they Yeah, it's sad. You when you when shit. you like when you like confront someone, they're like, Oh my god, a girl is literally confronting me. Like, yeah. holy shit, maybe I it's shouldn't like have shock. done that. It's a shock. Yeah. Girls, if you get hit on and you don't want to be hit on, you say, what the fuck are you looking at? Nobody does that to me because I'm like 5'9 and a big girl. Got the muscles to prove it. So, yeah, nobody really does that to me anymore. If you're getting stared at, you say what? They're like, what? Yeah. It and helps. then guys, stop being weird. Guys, stop being fucking guy weird. Advice, yeah. Thank you. Of course. What would you do if you were a triplet for a day? God. That's the could you imagine two more of me in this world? It would be very loud everywhere. That's not true because you're not like. Well, you it, you three together would just be like yapping to each other for what? sure. Me and Matt and Nick do that too, but like you're just like three of you. No, because there would be like a shy Tara, I feel like. Oh, could you imagine? That, that'd, that'd be, be weird. Matt. Think of Matt. That'd be so odd. Yeah. Could you imagine just me like being you, like. you, but just super reserved. Actually. That happens to me sometimes. I like adults really like me because I feel like I'm really polite and respectful actually mm. around adults and I go a little bit more reserved. Nice. Could you imagine me just more reserved? I'm so reserved in front of adults. I feel like I, I have to like fully recalculate. Especially I, I feel like because of the way I look. Yeah. Like people don't like an eyebrow piercing or like yeah, true. I dress loud. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like I go into like really nice girl mode where I'm like yeah. very sweet and kind and not that I'm not sweet and kind, but like I just. You overdo it. I overdo I overcompensate yeah. for sure. And I'm yeah. just, could you imagine a reserved version of me? That's crazy. Yeah, that's a lot for sure. I don't think I can imagine it. That's how much. Here, I'll do it right now. See how long this lasts. You're like itching to say something so bad. <laughs> if I brought up like one thing you like right now, you'd have to chime in. I hate sugar, guys. What the fuck? First of all, that's rude. Yeah, that was a low <laughs> because blow. Because it's like, that, yeah, that's a but really I low blow. I you. You became Yeah, but I was, I literally said that's fucked up because it's like, that's a low blow. Like, you can't say that and then expect me not to say something. I just know. Because it's not true. Annoying. I just know it. He's not. He would bite me. No, he, I don't think he would. I was going to bring him. Oh, my God. I would have been terrified. My assistant had them. And he actually, I actually just got a text from her. Look at this. Sugar got recognized at Target. <laughs> that's insane. Sugar is getting recognized. That's a lot. Like, could you imagine going up like, wow, is this Tari Yummy's dog? Because that's crazy. he has such a specific face. I wish I had siblings. Yeah. Could you imagine being an only yeah, child? That's crazy. You asked me if I could imagine being a triplet. Could you imagine being an only child? No, 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 no. You no. have to learn everything yourself. You have to, like, I'd lose my mind. I'd, like, guarantee You myself. only say that, though, because you... He was about to lose his mind with Tari Yummy not saying anything. They couldn't even sit in the same car silent for more than 30 seconds been a triplet like imagine just being born as an only child yeah no it freaks me out can't even think of it what do you do like do you like how i imagine an only child is like do you know the the racket with the ball on it and you just go like this? oh like a, a paddle ball i feel like that's all you do like that's just like okay I well i think being an alone. only child made me really social because i was like i need friends and i hate being alone i can't even yeah. shower alone i can't even be alone with my own thoughts who for do a you second. shower with oh i play podcasts Oh. Or listen to music. You said that like like you invite someone to shower with you because you don't like being alone. Mm, that's be alone. where your mind was in the gutter. No, it wasn't. You said that you shower, you can't even shower alone. Meaning, I then I said I don't want to be alone with my own thoughts. That's different. If I play music while you're not I shower, alone, I'm Christina Aguilera is there singing with you. Not no, you're completely alone. You just have things in the background. It's not silent. True. <laughs> you don't not true. You know? No. You don't like a little. Uh, What's what she said? Shit, I might sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Do you like karaoke? I'm, I've never karaoke We have to. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. I go my whole life without karaoke with you. I disagree with me. That was yeah. really mean. With anybody. There you go. Yeah. That was mean. Yeah, well, you addressed the karaoke duo. I never said we have to duo it. What is this, You Fortnite? said we have to do it or something. What did you say? I said we have to go. No, not happening. I'm not duo. Duo? What is this? That's what you... A friend duo is in Fortnite. Oh, that was a good... Tough guy impression. What's the most expensive gift you ever gave somebody? <laughs> what just happened? I would actually truly love to go karaoke with the Cerniolo triplets and Tara and Sam and Colby and Jake and Johnny and who am I missing? Ooh, what's yours? Me, Matt, and Nick on our dad a truck. 
Okay, I've never bought in someone a yeah, car. But that's like different. That's like a that's a crazy gift. But like that's obviously the most expensive. Holy fuck. Yeah. Can't top that. It's also three people. Yeah, but not that's to undermine three, what No, that's said. three people and that was like a big reward for my dad. Like he didn't get many gifts after that for a while. <laughs> like, um, no more gifts for no, you. No, even like Christmas came up and his birthday and we got him like obviously like little things. We're like, we're not gonna get you anything really nice. We just got you a, a car. A brand new truck. A brand new truck. What kind? I don't know. He, we gave him the money for it and he just picked out the truck. So it's like we didn't oh, really crap. Yeah, we didn't really pick it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't Mm, the most expensive thing I've bought someone it's probably my ex-boyfriend it's probably Jake and I probably got him like a birthday present like something designer yeah I can't put my finger on it yeah actually it might be my mom I might have bought her like a really nice purse mm. something designer I've gotten like either like an ex-boyfriend yeah I mom. love getting like people like things that they wouldn't get themselves and I feel like mm-hmm. designer is like the perfect way mm-hmm, I agree because sometimes I like doing that like, I don't designer. get I don't get a lot of designer things and I don't get people a lot of designer things but even just getting someone something they won't spend their own money on but I got my friend Nathan Tomater Crocs because I just know he wasn't going to buy it for himself. But he loves Tomater. So I was like, yeah, I got to get it. That's him. a great present. Right? Like, who's going to go buy Tomater Crocs for themselves? I have to pee so bad, by the way. <laughs> I, way more than that. I, I'd be overfilling your hands. I have to pee, t- like, tremendously. Tremendously? Is that the word? Yeah. We can go pee. Tremendously bad? No. I don't know. I'm... We can go pee. We can go inside. Okay, last thing. How do you feel about the development of motorized vehicles this year? Excuse me? I have no idea. I just, I didn't even write that down. I was just like, You just came up with that? That's even more impressive. Thank you. I was just like, let me ask something ridiculous. Like cars? I don't know. I don't even know. I just like, I was in the Uber. I think that's what that is. I was in the Uber on the way here and I wrote down like two things. I was like, let me do like some goofy shit. I guess with my video, I should have prepared better. No, you're good. I feel like this is more than enough. We've fed them. How do I feel about it? I feel like we should be further in the future when it comes to cars. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have an answer. I was expecting you to, like, laugh and then just not have an answer. I have to pee. Okay, we'll leave. Okay. Thank you guys so much for sticking around while uh, I was stuck in a car with Chris. Please go. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) Please go subscribe to the triplets. I love them very much. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Tara, even though you're already on her channel and shit, so I can't even do that. Like, dude, I mean, anyway, maybe they came because of you. A lot of people watch, though, and, then, and they oh, are subscribe. subscribed. Have you so seen the fucking subscribe? It's free. It is free. Okay, oh, ready? Hello. You're ready to say it? I'm ready. In okay. unison. In unison. One, two, three. It's time. time. To... Oh, oh. It's time. Okay. You said it's time. Okay, you're right. Sorry. What are we saying? It's time. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. It's, it's time, time to, to skedaddle. skedaddle. Adorable. That was so cute. Chris? You're just a cutie patootie. You're a cutie patootie. Anyway, all right, guys. I hope this satisfied you as a reaction. Um, I got um, a few people asking me for this. And so, yeah, I love you guys very much. Um, Like, subscribe, like they said, to their not only their channels, but for me too. And then tell me what you guys want to see next. Um, Yeah. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one, uh, if I can press the button.